Well, hi there, I'm KK, and today I wanna encourage you to be ruthless about your rituals for even more success. Doesn't that sound harsh to be ruthless about rituals? Well, my real goal is to talk to you about maximizing your productivity and honestly also improving your happiness quotient. I do believe both can be true and one of the best ways to see the benefits is to have some rituals and some strict, stringent ways of reaching your success. I think in the industries and the communities I tend to support founders in, it's considered almost a badge of honor to be busy, to wing it, and to you know hope for success. But if I'm being honest, that's not really the measure of success that top earning professionals use in order to get where they know they wanna go. So when I analyzed you know, what makes some of the clients I work with the most successful and um, their results the most attainable, it really does come down to having a very clear way of doing things, which I'm calling rituals today, which can be anything from how you take care of your body or your self-care, all the way to how you present and predict success professionally. And so I wanna talk about a few rituals that make sense for you today. So on the personal side, I think it's incredibly important that you spend the time to make sure that you're living the life you wanna live, that you're um, taking care of yourself and that you're not kind of working towards burnout or a place that's unattainable for you to enjoy your success. So that could be everything from regular exercise, improving the way that you eat, that's a really important one those are two really important ones for me, but also self-care rituals that help you to see the fruits of life, but also self-care rituals that help you to enjoy life as you reach those levels of professional success. So I'm incredibly strategic about taking time off the computer, um, enjoying time with my family, and even planning for breaks that allow me to be creative, even though I'm highly focused and kind of stoic on the professional side. And so those things simply make me better, they make those that I support better, and the outcomes are proven. On the professional side, I think where we often miss these rituals is because they're cloaked in terms that you're not incredibly comfortable with or you're super comfortable with them but you're really nervous about what the outcomes are. And that's your KPIs, right? Those are your key performance indicators of the business. And I don't care, honestly, if you're the owner, the manager, or anyone in between, I think it's incredibly important that we are structured and strategic about our outcomes and our success. And the number one ritual is to measure, is to implement and iterate and then track that success so you're able to then go what worked well, what needs optimization, and then enjoy the fruition of both of those areas, continuing on what went well and making those optimizations so that they become areas of opportunity instead of stuck. So yeah, I really do believe that you can maximize your productivity and improve what I call your happiness quotient all at the same time. And balance is the key here. That may sound really trite, you know? People talk about balance and then they go do weird things. But I wanna encourage you to know that there's more than just business success, right? And professional success for you. And yet at the same time, as you're enjoying that business success and professional success, cause I know you will, also to see that there may be other aspects of your life or of who you wanna be and kind of how you wanna navigate life outside of work. And both can be more successful and productive and happy and joyful all at the same time. So I wanna give you a little homework today. I don't often give homework. I want you to think about what are the things that are keeping you from maybe the happiness quotient that you're looking for, right? The things that are helping you to feel great about life and um, helping you to kind of exceed your expectations personally. And on the flip side of that, professionally, what are the things you need to implement right now? Whether they're true KPIs or simple tactics like hiring, firing, implementing new focus on marketing and sales, maybe trying out a new resource to help you to be more successful professionally. And knowing that you can put some energy and effort there, be ruthless about those rituals so that you can see the success that you've been dreaming of. I'm KK, and I can't wait to hear more from you about this soon.